Good morning. It is Monday. And I'm going to be honest, I'm like a little bit sad about it. I wish we had three day weekends. <laughs> Doesn't everybody, the five day work week, man, it's not for me. I mean, you do what you have to. It is coffee time here for me. I actually, it's only a little bit after 8.30. It's 8.35. I actually logged online this morning um, around 8 o'clock to kind of catch up from the weekend. And I took a look at my day and I forgot I had a pretty important meeting this afternoon. I looked at my schedule for the week and I kind of work in a meeting heavy environment. And so when I make my to-do lists, I found for me that it's the most helpful, especially on a Monday morning where I have a general, like everything I need to do list. And I used to, I sometimes put it on paper. I like to put it on paper, but these days things just come in and out so quickly that I just keep like a draft email open all of the time. It's just like my general to-do list. So if I'm in a meeting or if I'm just like thinking and I'm like, oh yeah, I got to do that, but I'm in the middle of a task, I just kind of jot it down. And then when it comes to Monday, I make a another to-do list and I just write out every day of the week and I look at my calendar on a Monday and I plug in all of the meetings that I have, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And then from there, I look at the deadlines that I have, like I have something that is due by end of day Wednesday today and I have something that is due by 3 p.m. on Friday. So then I figure out when I'm going to work on those things and then I plug and play like whatever else is in my list. And then I also like keep some stuff off because I don't want to jam pack my days of work um, and overwhelm myself. Okay. Uh, Zach has just left for work. I am now making my coffee obviously. And last week I mentioned, I say last week, like really was last week. It's like three days ago. And like day one of Vlogmas or something, I mentioned that I definitely will be doing some cooking this year in Vlogmas uh, because I love it. I do it a lot. And I also mentioned that we have started doing, we're, we're experimenting with like the pre-portioned like meal delivery services like HelloFresh and Blue Apron and we were doing every plate to start. Um, and last week we made kind of an oopsie because we thought we skipped this week of every plate and we're going to order HelloFresh because I had a free box that a friend gifted to me um, to try it out. And we were looking and we're like, usually we get three or four meals. Um, but we were looking and like to get the most bang for our like $10 shipping free box buck, you could get five meals. So we ordered five meals for free from HelloFresh this week. And then the very next day we got an email saying that we had four every plate meals coming this week. We actually skipped next week of every plate and this week uh, we're still getting four meals. So that's a little bit of a debacle because that's nine meals and we have like seven days in a week and we're definitely not going to eat all of that food and we don't want to waste it. So last night we sat down and wrote out everything that we had. One of the lady in laws said that they would take two of the meals and then I think we should probably be able to skate away with the rest. Some of them are like kind of lunchy so we could totally make them for like a lunch this weekend or something. Um, not something we normally have a need for but you know, we can make do with it. We're grateful for the food we've got. And anyway, all that to say is that the HelloFresh box just got here. So I'm making my coffee now and then I'm gonna open it up and show you what meals we have. Okay, got my coffee. And I will say because we had uh, the like try it free box, they didn't let us pick which meals we got. These are the ones that they automatically sent us. So one of them, and I know Zach's really excited about this one, is White Cheddar Wonder Burgers um, with Old Bay fries, caramelized onion, and special sauce. So we're keeping that one. I actually have an event on Saturday, so that's probably gonna be like his Saturday night dinner while I'm gone. Um, 
The other one that came is Beef Flau to Supreme with Pico de Gallo and Lime Crema. This is one that's going to the lady-in-law. We also got Crispy Buffalo Spiced Chicken with blue cheese sauce, scallion mashed potatoes, and carrots. Um, that's what this looks like. I have a feeling this is going to be pretty good. We had one that was very similar to this in the every plate box a couple of weeks ago um, and we really liked it uh, every plate and HelloFresh I guess are like sister companies so I'm interested to see like trying HelloFresh how different they actually are so this is another one this one I was pretty excited for but the lady-in-law I just sent her everything we had and told her pick two and she picked this one so we won't be trying it um, but maybe we'll hear how it is from her and I can give you an update, but this is street cart style turkey bowls with yellow rice, white sauce, and pitas. Looks very delicious. And then the other one that we are keeping is one pot creamy lemon dill chicken soup with couscous and scallions. And I am a huge soup lover, so I'm very excited for this one. And that's what that looks like. So, and it's one pot, which like, can you... Can you go wrong there? I don't think so. So those are the ones that we have from HelloFresh. And then the every plate usually gets delivered between like 1 and 3 o'clock this afternoon. So I've got meetings from 12 to 2 and then 2.30 to 3.30. Um, what I will say is that HelloFresh comes to packaged like this, which I already knew. And it has like a little QR code on there. I'm assuming that's so you can like go follow the recipe online if you don't want to follow the card. And it tells you like what the bag, like what meal bag is for. Every plate um, is a little more affordable and they send you the cards, but they do expect you to have like a couple of more ingredients, like things that we... I mean, I'll show you this. They don't come prepackaged and they expect you to have more ingredients, basically. So when they come, and I'll show you later, it kind of just comes with, like, the food all in one box and the cards are on top. And then you have to sort it out yourself, which isn't really that big of a deal to me. I kind of have fun with it because I like to make sure that everything's there. Um, with HelloFresh, it comes prepackaged and you get, um, they just expect you to have salt, pepper, oil, sugar, and butter. And everything else they send to you. Um, with every plate, they expect you to have the salt, pepper, oil, sugar, butter, and then other things that we have been expected to have were ketchup, mayonnaise, and flour. And I think that's it. And then they've like recommended we add hot sauce if we have it at home for some of the dishes, um, like as a finisher and haven't provided it, but like we have like a hot sauce shelf. We love hot sauce. Anyway. So we'll see what's going on um, with every plate later. But for now, I'm going to go upstairs and we can open my mini. All right. Before we open my advent, actually, I'm going to get in my bag here and show you what I worked on over the weekend. All right. So Cozy Knitter. I am all caught up on my stripes. So that is this. And Freckled Whimsy, honestly, star of the show for me this year. Look how pretty these colors are. This is like, I'm obsessed with this like turquoisey teal, like bright blue. <clears throat> Very excited. So going to continue on with my stripes today. Uh, really have a need for Pomodoro technique today with the amount of things I need to get done. So we will see where I land with my Pomodoro knitting at the end of the day. And actually I have a meeting today. I actually potentially have two hour long meetings today that I should be able to sneakily knit through. Um, the other thing I wanted to show you is my Musselberg progress. <clears throat> and I don't know if I've mentioned this on here, but I think I have decided that once I finish this Musselberg, I'm not going to gift knit anymore. I don't want to order more needles for like more sock knitting. And 
I don't know. I just, I like really want to knit something for myself. So if I cast something on, it'll probably be not a gift. Um, so anyway, this is where I'm at for the Musselberg. I was really excited and I'm very good at knitting in plain sight. Uh, I have trained the people around me so well, I guess, by knitting so frequently anytime I have a chance to sneak in an extra stitch that they're just like, oh, what are you working on? And they don't really ask many more questions except for like, what is it? Um, and they comment on how beautiful it is and like ask me about my other projects. So first of all, shout out to my family and friends <laughs> for asking about my knitting. Um, but this hat I cast on for Zach and I have been I'm trying to see, it's getting like longer and more bunched up now, but like you can see some of the greens in there now. Oh, I guess a little better on this side. Anyway, so <clears throat> I cast this on for him and was knitting it right in front of him and he had no idea. And then I got really excited and last night I was knitting in bed and I've been watching Love is Blind. Anyway, I was knitting it in bed and I, he came upstairs and I just said, this is for you. And he was like, what? He was so excited because he picked out the yarn and I wanted to make sure he still liked it. And he was very happy. I said, I promise it'll fit this time. So, and then I asked him, I'm like, did you notice that I was knitting this for you? And he said, no, if you wouldn't have said anything, I had no idea, but I don't really care. I'm just too excited. Um, so here's uh, this is the amount of knitting I got on, done on it. So I moved this marker when I showed you in the car. Was this yesterday's video? Two days ago, the day I went to the art museum. I moved this then, and then this is basically all the knitting I've done since then. So I'll move it again here <clears throat> after I show you my mini. And I had planned for this to be my meeting knitting, so I think I'm gonna take advantage of that time today and see how far I can actually get during meetings today. And then I also have a couple of opportunities later this week for secret meeting knitting. So that'll be my meeting project. And then my five minute break, so I'll, I'll do my socks. Uh, but I know what you're waiting for. You're waiting for the advent, so <laughs> let's open it up. <laughs> See, yesterday really threw me through a loop, so I have no idea where this is going today. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> you might be shocked as me. Look. Oh, my goodness. I don't know what color I was expecting next. Hold on, I have yesterday's. I am so, I really, truly had no expectations when I ordered this, like I didn't know what to expect. I knew that I liked the amount of yarn that I was getting. Every mini is 20 grams. Holy cow. I don't even know what to say. I mean, like, <laughs> it's so good. Anyway, yeah, there was no theme. I just knew it was a fade. And last year's fade, if you look on Shirley Bryan yarn, Instagram and I think she even still has the listing up for this year on her website. The photos from last year's feed were like very rainbow and fun so I guess I was kind of expecting something that and a little more muted but this is I, out of this world. I don't even know. So you ever have yarn it's like too pretty to knit with? I feel like this is too pretty to knit with. Holy cow. All right <laughs> enough laying on over the yarns. I gotta get back to it. It is a little after nine now and um, I'll check in later.
I actually had one of my meetings rescheduled today, which was very good. <laughs> so I got a little more work done than I was anticipating, but I still have another meeting right now. Um, in about 30 minutes, so I'm coming downstairs to make a cup of coffee for that. And then, gonna get back to it. Actually, our every plate came. So I'm gonna finish up my coffee and then I'm gonna open this and I'll show you it. And then I will get back to it. <laughs> okay, so every plate comes like this. It's just like loose. But here are the recipes we have. We've got pepper jack and shroom quesadillas. I actually think we might add our own chicken to this. Firehouse mac and cheese. Creamy garlic lime chicken bowls. And Cajun chicken sandwiches. So what I do with every plate is that I've actually been saving, I didn't take them out yet, but I've actually been saving like gallon Ziploc size bags. And what I do is I spread the cards out on our dining table. And then I just pull everything out and I'm like, okay, pepper jack cheese, where does this go? <laughs> and then I put it with the card. And then once I have the entire box empty, and I've cross-checked that we received everything, it's all divided out. I just shove all the ingredients in a Ziploc bag and then we keep the cards in the kitchen and then we just decide what we want to eat for dinner. And then we go to the fridge and we pull out the bag that I've pre-portioned and that's it. So I'm going to do that now and then go back to work. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna make the buffalo chicken for dinner. So here's that. 